Hi students. Um, so today we're going to do unit two in ship or sheep. Okay. And before we start, I should let you know that today you're going to need a pencil. So go get a pencil. We only need it for like one minute, but later in the video, we're going to need a pencil. So go get a pencil, stop the video and go get a pencil. Okay. Uh, let's look at what we got today. Okay. So unit two, um, there we go. Okay. Please remember that for unit one, for unit one, we did the the long uh, sound here, the e sheep e. This little thing here is telling you that it's going to be long sound. Okay, the triangle on top of a triangle. Okay, this sheep. Okay, and then today we're going to do e e ship ship. Okay. Now um, I'm going to read this part here um, in the box, but before we do that, you should look a little bit here. The unit one sound. I'm going to try to make this bigger here. Um, the unit one sound. Um, your tongue is going to be blocking more of the air. And then when you do the unit two sound, the i, 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 your tongue goes down just a little bit, okay? So sheep, that's this sound here, the unit one, sheep. And then when you do this sound, i, i, ship, okay? Your tongue should be a little bit lower. You can feel it go down. If you go sheep, ship, your tongue should be a little bit lower and a little bit tighter um, here, as you can see over here. This, your lips are going to be more narrow, the corners of your lips, okay? Sheep, ship, okay? All right, so that's the, the two sounds that we've done in unit one and unit two, okay? So back to eh, 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 ship, okay? What about this fish? Can I eat it? Yes, eat it. What about this cheese, okay? So this cheese, making sure you know unit one and unit two sounds. Can I eat it? No, don't eat it. It's six weeks out of date, okay? So make sure you practice this a few times um, just so you get good at, good at the sounds, okay? So I'm gonna do it again really, um, not quick, but I want to do it really uh, clearly, I guess, yeah. Okay, so do this with me at the exact same time, okay? So one, two, three. What about this fish? Can I eat it? Yes, eat it. What about this cheese? Can I eat it? No, don't eat it. It's six weeks out of date. Okay, so out of date here means this book is from England. Usually in Canada, we would say expired. It's six weeks expired. So the, the date of the cheese is too old. It should probably go in the garbage, okay? Okay, um, next, uh, we're gonna go down to the, the chart down here. Okay, and so again, just like the last video, we're gonna do the red ones first, um, and then and then I'm gonna get you to do the sentences, okay? So um, let's do the, just the red words first, kind of practice, okay? Um, try to think of where your tongue and your the corners of your lips are, okay? So, ship, ah, I gotta get my brain on. Sheep, ship, you say it. Okay, sheep, ship. Okay, next one. Leak, lick. Cheeks, chicks. Peel, pill. Bean, bin. Leave, live. Okay. Leave, live, okay? Now, um, let's do the red words one more time, but uh, this time try to say them with me. I'll try to go slow and we'll go all the way from the top to the bottom, okay? So um, uh, you can try to follow my cursor here, okay? So sheep, oh, I should do a countdown. One, two, three. Sheep, ship, leak, lick, cheeks, chicks. Peel, pill, bean, bin, leave, live. Okay. Good. Okay. So um, let's go through the sentences um, and see what we can do. Okay. So look out for that sheep. Look out for that ship. Stop it leaking. Stop it licking. What lovely cheeks. 
What lovely chicks. This peels, make sure there's going to be a Z sound on the S, okay? And even the, 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 the S here. So this, oh, this, no, hold on. Not the Z sound. Z sound's on the peels, okay? This peels, I'm trying to listen to the, 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 the this sound. This, yeah, S sound. Peels, Z sound. This peels got vitamin C in it. This pills got vitamin C in it, okay? Peels, pills. Throw out that bean. Throw out that bin. He's, make sure you vibrate. He's going to leave. He's going to live. Okay, practice these a couple times. Go backwards in the video, yeah. Okay, uh, good luck. Now, next. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is E here, okay? So we're going to be in here. What they're trying to get you to practice here um, is that these sounds are the, the stressed sounds. The underlying sounds are going to be a little bit said a little bit slower than the other sounds and a little bit um, uh, louder than the other sounds, okay? So this out and ship is going to be louder, as you can see in these O's here. These other ones here are the other consonant sounds, okay? Or the, the other syllables, I'm sorry. So this syllable and syllable sounds over here. Um, but they're going to be quicker and um, uh, uh, quicker and fat, uh, sorry, quicker and not as loud, okay? Quieter. So, um, so the key words here are out and ship, out and ship. So look out for that ship, okay? So is look out for that ship, okay? Stop and leak. Stop it leaking. Okay, the it is faster and, and a little bit quieter, okay? So stop it leaking, but the stop is emphasized. Um, love and chicks. What lovely chicks. Okay, so the lee part is not so much emphasized, okay? So what lovely chicks. And then pills and C. This pills got vitamin C in it. So the in it is just really quick at the end, okay? So um, yeah, this is not just about pronunciation. It's about having natural um, flow throughout the, the sentence, okay? So please practice these when you can. Now, pencil time. Ta -da! Okay, I'm gonna read um, six sentences. And the six sentences, they're gonna have sheep or ship in them, okay? So please tick the one you, you, one you hear, okay? Um, now, when I read these, I'm only going to read it once, okay? So you really, you have to have your ears on, okay? Um, yeah, so let's go. Do you hear this word or this word, okay? A unit uh, one word or a unit two word, okay? So, ready? Yep, okay, let's go. So here we go. Um, he wants a sheep for his birthday. I'm gonna read it fast, I should have warned you, okay? So uh, I'm not gonna read that again. Number two, that's a very small bin. The third one, look at these chicks. Number four, uh, that's a cheap machine. Number five, what a high heel. And then the last one, number six, uh, don't eat that pill. All right, so make sure you check all those, okay? You can go back and rewind if you want, but it's probably better if you try to just do it from your um, listening the first time, but yeah. Okay, um, we're gonna skip the next page. So page uh, nine, we're gonna skip this one. And then we're gonna go to these numbers over here, okay? Um, so this is where English gets very tricky. There's going to be different stresses on different parts of these words, right? So in here, if we just say 13, this middle one here, 13, we put the emphasis on the, the teen part, okay? However, like they mentioned down here, when we're counting, we put it on the beginning part, okay? So if we're just, you know, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, we're like 13, 14, the stress is going to be on the beginning part. But if you say like, you know, Daryl, how many cookies did you eat? I'll say 13, okay? So the stress can be kind of different places and different times. 
Um, but, you know, really, this is an exercise about trying to copy what I'm doing and also kind of getting your ears to hear it. Okay. So, three, 13, 30. Okay. So, you can say them. We'll say them together. Okay. So, we'll start on the second line here. Four, 14, 40. Okay. Your turn to say it. Five. 15, 50. 6, 16, 60. 7, 17, 70. 8, 18, 80. Nine, nineteen, ninety. Okay, this T here sometimes is more like a D sound as well. Just like when we say like water. Okay, water we usually have with a D sound. Ninety. Um, you can say nine T, but you often hear ninety. Okay, more of a soft, soft D sound in there, not a T. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. And um, down here, just make sure, like I said uh, a minute ago. Um, that when you're counting, we usually just emphasize the first part because that's where a lot of the information is from, right? So uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, like that, okay? Um, here, again, they're, they're talking about like the movement of the stress here. So Tim lives at number 15, okay? Um, that's when it's at the end. But when there's words at the after the word 15, then we often shift from the teen emphasis to the or the stress uh, to the stress on the fifth part. Okay, so Tim lives at number fifteen Green Street, like that. Okay, Tim lives at number fifteen Green Street. Okay, um, there's a bingo game here. You can play if you have a friend at home, <laughs> um, um, and just kind of practice saying these properly and stuff like that. Okay, um, good luck. Good luck. If you have any problems, please you can comment in the. Um, uh, YouTube comment section um, or talk talk to me directly and stuff like that. So practice, practice lots, please. Thank you. Bye.